got some hot in the bop I'ma pull up to your spot on the block Homie, let's talk Welcome to Let's Talk with Finns, the number one hip-hop review show in Canada. I'm your co-host, MLB, and today we're interviewing Lil Windex. Hey, hello. What's good, everybody? You already know what it is, man. I'm honored to be here with you, bro. Oh, yeah. uh, holding down Canada for some time now. Uh, to keep it down there. You're awesome, man, and uh, you know, it's, it's a pleasure to be here, bro. Oh, yeah. um, I want you to inform our fanatics who yeah. Lil Windex is and your story into music. Okay, Lil Windex, I'll answer the first one first, is a complete fucking weirdo. He's like the weird side of me, he's like the party side of me. That's what I think he turned into. He was kind of just meant to just be like a little one hit thing or a little one thing and I just roll with it, cause who wouldn't? Yeah. And music wise, I'll tell you a funny story of where it all started. There was this girl in high school and I had like my little posse, my little clique, my friend, his girlfriend, like a couple other friends and shit. Mm -hmm. And this one girl that nobody really liked, that thought everybody liked her, said some shit about her, started rumoring about my friend's girl. And then I was just like, I was like back in eight mile days, you know what I mean? Like everybody was <laughs> rapping and shit, it was a cool thing. And I had like this little MP3 player that recorded uh, on it with the little mic uh, headphone thingy. And I like played this beat and I wrote a diss about it, about this girl. I made a rumor about my friend. I like wrote this diss. I was like, I know this Tiffany bitch and she's real fucking fat, low too high, which is mean to say. But back in high school, I could say whatever. <laughs> Anyways, and I, so I wrote it and I recorded it on this little MP3 thing. And then I bring it to school and started showing a couple people. And I just played this beat on my computer, had this mic by it and was like going like <laughs> yeah, this and rapping. The little to sound it. recorder mic. Yeah, yeah. And so I started showing people at my school and the next thing you know, I was like, I had a smoke pit. So people were like, yo, let me hear the Tiffany diss. Fuck, now, <laughs> now if you hear this, I'm is. sorry. Hi, Tiffany. Tiffany. Yo, the thing is, okay, so it gets better. So, anyway, so everybody started hearing about it. Next day, everybody's coming up. Everybody's heard this fucking Tiffany this, except for her. And she had no idea, which I was like, instantly, when everybody started coming up, I was like, oh, man, she's going to hear it, and I'm going to feel bad. <laughs> like, I'm going to feel bad that it's dissed her and all this shit. But, like, yeah, she didn't appear. But cool that was my introduction it. to, like, wanting to rap. And people, like, fucking The reaction Because people, people were like, yo, this is so sick. Of I want to hear it. And I'm like, yo, all right, sweet, dude. Check it out. Dope. I can just pop up my headphone and <laughs> Yeah. yeah, man, that's awesome, man. So, uh, you know, like you're, you're, you're clearly like a very talented dude, man. Anybody that, that has known him or has seen his music, if you haven't, go look him up. Uh, you know, you started out kind of like as a comedian as well, you know, doing yeah, some crazy memes that, and, yeah. uh, you know, just reaching out to the social media people, you know, because that's what they want. They want entertainment. That's, that's right? the fun so, part, man. Yeah, Being exactly. characters. Exactly, right? Playing different funny shit. Exactly. And, um, you know, so never mind like the marketing schemes, you know, that was obviously genius and all that. Um, but for younger kids that are that are coming up in this new age of music, uh, what's like some good advice that you can give them to try to break through like the kind of way that you did? The kind of way I did. Not maybe, really like, even the yeah. way you but did. But I mean, like, yeah, um, I say just be different because I mean I know a lot of people will say that shit, but it's 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 really real. You gotta be different. You gotta you gotta tell yourself that you're like gonna pop. You know what I mean? You gotta yep. tell you gotta know for yourself that you're gonna want to do that. And hundred percent. You just can't really like give up try new things don't be afraid to try new shit you don't have to be like oh i'm sticking true to you sticking true to you is trying new things and evolving and shit so i think be different because everybody's trying to be a rapper everybody can rap you know what i mean it's yeah not, but it's, it's a like, million of them exactly <laughs> and that's that's why i started comedy skits too before the rap shit is because everybody's a rapper name. i was like you know what? i'm just gonna do some other shit too but anyways so yeah, yeah i'd say don't be afraid to be weird try new things and then don't give up you just kind of can't keep pushing to the people and law of attraction you were saying that earlier yeah. law of attraction is a huge. huge thing if you think about it and you and you want to do it and you can see yourself doing it you'll do it yep. it's pretty easy yeah, it's not magic you I mean, do have to yeah. work but yeah, exactly you got work but I mean like you know it's easy when you know you want to do it yep. and, and it's law of attraction you did bring your son today I did yes um, and uh, we do have two children of our own I'm yeah. seven hey Adrian hey Jackson <laughs> we love so you what up? they love you um, how do you find that balance to take care of your family and take time away to enjoy life when you know you've done a lot of work well um back when i was with his mom i mean it was kind of like a bit different and more we were definitely more of it was like you know that was the whole factor where it's like i live with her i live with him both the kids and then all that stuff and then, so that was like a lot harder to be able to put in work now but like or like but now that me and his mom separated, which she, we're great friends. She's a great person. That's cool. Me. She's a great mom. Um, anyways, I think it's easier now that we have more time apart. I can I can balance things more often. You know what I mean? When he's here, it's kind of like more like a do my family dad things. And stuff yeah, like for that. sure, and then for sure. When I'm not with him, I can do you know my work, do whatever I need to do, and do that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's kind of how I balance it. But 
mean, like, yeah, before it was kind of funny when I was doing the comedy skits. I used to work at a mill for like three years or something like that. And, uh, it's really the eight mile shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. But, um, yeah, I worked at this mill, and then uh, that's when I started doing like comedy skits. Like, I had rapped and done shows before, but that's when I started doing comedy skits, and they started to kind of take off. Yeah. And then to a point where I was kind of able to, you know, like uh, support myself with it. Good. But uh, at that time, it was difficult because I got work, and I get home at like, you know, five dinner time and deal with the whole life dad shit of, you know, kids and dinner and all that stuff. And then I'd have to work on my stuff afterwards, and then I'd be up late working on it until 2 in the morning and then get back up at 5 oh, in the yeah. morning and go back to work and do the same thing like over and over again. Insane. And then I, yeah, yeah. I was able to eventually support myself a little bit. And, uh, so well, look I at where my, you are. So look at where you are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why yeah, you quit your job? I did, yeah. Once I, once I could like get by a bit, but it was hard. Like for a while, I was still doing the whole month to month, like just barely getting by. And, uh, but yeah, it gave me a lot more time to work on shit for sure. Of course. So, was of course. that scary for you? Kind of leaving the nine to five to kind yeah. of live the dream? Yeah, it was because I was so used to it. I'd, I'd worked like nine to five jobs and hard labor jobs since I like, could remember. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, working on my uncle's tugboat, fucking everything. I did everything. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, so it was weird because I was like, oh shit, man, like, is this really going to fail? Now I got like kids and everything I got to really take care of, not just going me, fast. You know what I mean? It's like, but uh, yeah, it worked. It was hard for a year or so. It was like, you know, living month to month every time just getting by just barely scraping by but it gave me enough time to work on shit more and work and work Good. and then that's what you know led me to hear so now I'm thankful yeah awesome wow. oh, yeah. and then you know it's not a bad place to be bro this place is beautiful we're sitting here beautiful. at the Okanagan yeah. Lake uh, in, or the Ogopogo they're yeah. conspiracy theorizers so yeah they might, they might <laughs> see, love them they might see a Loch Ness monster you never know the man <laughs> Photoshop them in popping out or something yeah so so Kelowna's cool you were mentioning that you used to come visit with your dad here and yeah. stuff uh, back in the day yeah. uh, it's an absolutely beautiful place what's the party scene like here wild you know what if you want me to like describe the party scene in three words it'd probably be white claws boats and cocaine I mean, I don't, I don't do coke, I don't party, I don't yeah, do, yeah, I don't yeah, do yeah. drugs, none of that shit. Hey, but, man, um, but it's there. But, you know, that's the party scene out here if you really want me to classify it. But, I mean, the party scene's huge. There's also, you know, the good vibes and a lot of, like, hipster type of shit. And yeah. It's a, honestly, it's a great, it has a little bit of everything in yeah. the city, and it's great. And But, yeah, the party scene's a, it's a, it's like an L.A. vibe. Dope. That's what it is. Dope. Yeah. That's sick. Next time we come out here not working, we're definitely going to have to check that scene. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Minus, eh? the, cocaine. minus the cocaine. Yeah, minus that <laughs> but that yeah, white claws, like any vodka drinks, a boat, one of those buckets oh, yeah. with some Mo Bamba playing, like oh, some for fuck sure. shit, bitch. Hey. Hey. And then cocaine, and then that's that is a Kelowna party right yeah. there. That's, that's not to be a dick. I love you, Kelowna. But that's a Windex video right that. there, but <laughs> <laughs> they call it the Kelowna virus out here. The Kelowna virus. Yeah. No. Yeah, I heard it was pretty bad out here, and uh, that was one of my questions as well. Is um, you know through the COVID, we've been trying to kind of ask other artists as well. We've we've interviewed about ten dudes out here. Um, it's pretty crazy what people have to do to keep their their, their hustle up, but it kind of shows oh, sure. who's who's a hustler and who's kind of not. Yeah, so exactly. we're we're just wondering what you can say to them and uh, tell these young artists out there something they can do to to keep relevant during this outbreak. Okay, well, I probably. You know, Merck would be a great person to ask for that because Merck has done nothing but stay relevant. Yeah, he, yeah grind he, this whole we thing. did ask him that. But yeah, honestly, he, 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 I've been kind of taking a break and like kind of just chilling on life, yeah. I feel like. Like, I haven't really kept up to date with my kid <coughs> recently. Right now, like, if you're watching this, I don't know how I'm, what I'm doing right now. But <laughs> at this point, no, I haven't been relevant in, like, fucking, you know, a few months. But I've just been kind of chilling and doing my life stuff. Like, I got lots of stuff I'm working of course, on. Don't get me wrong. Of I got lots of, I've made plenty of songs during this coronavirus shit. Yep. But, uh... Yeah, like, so I, you know, watch Merck's video and take his advice from this <laughs> Because me, personally, I just kind of took a couple months off and I've been chilling and just living and All right. hiking and swimming. All right. and hey, man, you, you don't even know, man. Some people some people take it as a break and some people just yeah. take it as a, as a grind, you yeah, know. It's, yeah, it's yeah. I've done, you know, you I've do. done some things, so I'm, I'm not too upset about taking the time yeah. off. But, uh, yeah, just keep working, man. That was a yeah. great time because everybody is looking at their phones, which I should have taken advantage of. But I've been chilling. <laughs> yeah. I've been chilling. Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm cool with that. Well, let's bring it back to a time where you were making uh, Clean It Up. Oh, yes. That was I a love fun that. Time. Yeah. yeah um, it's one of our favorite brilliant. songs. Brilliant. And I definitely feel like you definitely seize the moment with kind of turning it backwards on our culture with what's going on with yeah, all yeah, of the, yeah. Yeah, the for new sure. age music, which I thought was brilliant of you. Mm -hmm. So just take us through that process uh, of just like the light making switch, the basically. Cleaning up? Okay, well, how it all started, as I told the story, it's pretty funny. But how it all started was, 
um, I was doing a comedy sketch, and I just had made like I'd, I'd made a couple of different characters. That I had Billy as a character who was just mm-hmm. like a fucking borderline read. And then, <laughs> like, yeah, a couple of different ones. Either or. And then one day this guy messaged me and he's like, "Yo, you should do something on uh, mumble rap." So here's before I get deeper in the story. Here's your fucking credit, buddy. Whoever you even are. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> there you are, bud. Um, yeah, he messaged me. He's like, "You should do something on mumble rap." And I was like, "All right, yeah, that'd be a cool idea." It was just like a message on my DTG page. And then uh, I had like a closet full of like wigs and outfits and weird shit like that. And I had yeah. this one wig from the dollar store and it was just a mullet. And the next to his hair was just a mullet turned backwards and then braided. What, that, that orange one? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so anyways, it was a dollar store wig that was in my closet. That's amazing. And uh, I went in there and I was like, all right, maybe I'll make a character, like a little mumble rap character. I got Amy, uh, Oakley's mom, to braid it. And then I, I did a little video, it just has Windex. And I don't know if you've seen that. It was before cleaning up drop. It was like a little, just a little selfie video on the bathroom. No. Introducing myself. I'm like, yo, I'm no Windex. I'm bigger, better than Tupac. Bigger, bigger, oh, I did see that. I did see that. I did. Yeah, so yeah, I did yeah. That, that was your first video joke. ever? Yeah, that was the first Windex video ever. Wow. I, I was just like, all right, I'm just going to be this Great. funky character. I dropped it and I remember I woke up the next day and I had like a million or two million views or something like that. And I was the like, next oh, shit. day, was holy. Like, okay. <laughs> and a bunch of messages about it. Yeah. And then people... We're like, yo, you should. Oh, this one guy was like, hey, man, I make beats. You should do a Lil Windex song. And like, I knew a lot of people that made beats, though. So. And I like listened to it, and I was like, eh. And then C Lance hollered. And uh, I, I'm sure a lot of people know C Lance. He's yeah. legendary. Oh, producer. we've shouted him out a few times yeah, now. Yeah, shout out to C Lance. Yeah. He's a legendary producer. Um, yeah, he, he sent me some beats, and he's like, maybe one of them will be a Windex vibe. And I heard the clean up one instantly. Like, that one clicked. Boom. I was like, all right, here it is. And then, so yeah, I wrote the song. I was like, I just got to dumb it down, but like keep it good at the yeah. same time. And so I just really, it was really. No, your bars were on point with that. I really like it. But like kind of difficult because I haven't done much songs where I'm like, you know, trying to like brag about money and all yeah, that kind of, of shit. Yeah. And then, yeah, I dropped that. And that surprisingly, yeah, we shot the video, organized it, a bunch of homies rolled out for it. And then we dropped it and it took like a month to really pick up. But and then at first I was like, ah, oh, shit, you know, it's not doing as crazy as I yeah, thought yeah. it would have been. Because like, I, I was like, oh, I feel like it'll do good, you know what I mean? Yep. And, uh, but I didn't like get down on it and then it just picked up and I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I just kept yeah, rolling nuts. with it and rolling with it. But it was fun because it, it ended up going a, viral like crazy for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people were talking about academics, a lot yep. of, you know, rappers and shit like that, Carnage. Um, Huge. But yeah, and so I just kept rolling with it. It gave me a chance to like write a different kind of music, which to me it was fun at writing because a lot of people would thought I was hating on mumble rap, but I'm not necessarily hating on because, um, Amy's brother used to live with us and he listened to a lot of that shit, Young yeah, Thug, all those course, guys yeah. back then. And I was like, Oh man, this shit's whack and blah Who's blah. But it started to grow, up, it grow on me. You know what yep. I mean? And I was like, you know, it's not about the, the lyrics. It's not these guys trying to be like lyrical, miracle, spiritual, exactly. blah blah. They're they're just vibing. It's yeah. a vibe. It's a whole different uh, yep. genre of music. And then so I started like it. So I, I, it was fun for me to write that kind of shit too. Yeah, no doubt. No so doubt. did the novelty wear off, and then you wrote identity theft, or? Yeah, it, yeah, it kind of like, got like. Yeah, because Identity, identity Theft, first of all, is like, yo, that's one of my favorite tracks Thanks, from you man, because I, I really that. feel like you captured, um, like, what it is that the music industry can do to you, Yeah, yeah you know, as sure. a person, you it's, know what I mean? It's brain melting. Yeah, man, and, yeah. It, and it, it just really, like, I was trying to kind of go through some of your songs that I might have not have heard as well, and, like, I just couldn't find one that was, like, personal like that. Like, you really got to, like, your point there yeah, yeah. on what the music industry can do to somebody, so... Uh, not in a bad way at all, you know what I mean? I'm not yeah, saying yeah, it was yeah, a bad yeah. way, but uh, but yeah, man, it was awesome. And uh, that song's that song's just absolutely wicked. Love it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, Identity Theft, uh, it was kind of like my turning point, I guess. It was just like I was doing the Windex, and a lot of people were like really fucking with it, but like at the same time, I wanted to show more I could do and more like different stuff I could do that I felt I couldn't do with Windex. And honestly, it was like I went on, me and Merck and Evil and Caspo did this big long tour. And it was like, we do the meet and greets every night or go on the stage and I'm like, oh, shit, hold on, man. I got to fucking take my fucking Windex out my back, <laughs> put it on, put on my teeth, go out there and talk yeah. like this. And then I got to, you know, talk like, think I'm dumber or something. Yeah, and yeah. Then, so I do like a whole day. And then it was like, it just get repetitive. And I'm yeah. like, it's fun to do. I love it. Don't get me wrong. But it was like, that was kind of where it hit me. And I'm like, man, I just want to do some of my own shit now and get some of my own shit. Cool. For sure. So I can just, you know, 100%. go be me. And then people would be like meet and greets they just think i'm somebody i'm totally not because the lyrics are right in windex you know what i mean they'd be like yo look all fucking like an ounce of coke dude and, like girls after the show if yeah. you want i'm like nah, like no, i'm good no. that's not even really me but you yeah, know yeah. these people think it's me <laughs> and so, that's yeah, jokes that was, everyone's <laughs> offering you to go party like oh, an yeah, animal was, and you're just like uh like, don't no, get me don't wrong windex that. parties but i mean he doesn't he doesn't fuck with drugs and yeah. he doesn't uh good he doesn't do anything like that but i mean yeah that yeah. was like so and then uh, yeah i kind of was like i just want to do my own thing and then i was talking to merc about it. i was really down about it and then Merck came, like in the middle of the song, I said it. But uh, yeah, Merck's like, dude, just write a song as you and just drop it. And, like, 
Good. I can involve the Windex stuff and blah blah. And I was like, alright, cool. Mm -hmm. Mercury's Mer 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 one of the most genius motherfucker in Canada. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Yeah. You know what? Anything that you need. Has beauty. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. Oh, I that's just, all good. I I'm blessed by Mercury's like to even like reach out and respond to be honest yeah. like that's yeah, a man. great person man like, he's humble, so humble as hell. like i'm sure when you guys met him you guys didn't think um, he'd be the way he would like not that he, you yeah. wouldn't think it but you no, know to what be I mean? honest him, it's it was, like whoa this guy's actually way more for me it was a little think. less because it was just like i kind of like expected him to be like that because i don't know i've been talking yeah, with him yeah. in like, that you can group tell chat for a bit so i kind of like got to know him a little bit like a little bit right but I just felt kind of more comfortable. He was, co it was comfortable. Oh, super, yeah. yeah it was yeah. good. Like he's, super, he's super. Professional. You can tell his presence is great, but then yeah. when you meet him in person, it's like a whole day. It's like whoa, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I felt like I met the devil, man. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I swear. He's, he's got a vibe about him. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh man, he's but cool. In a good way. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, but yeah, so that kind of you were saying that you went on tour with him a bunch too, and um, you know that was one of my questions. Like, this is our first tour. That we've ever been on mm -hmm. and um it's it's been a long journey for us but we're gonna ask you what's the longest uh, journey you've ever been on i think the longest two i did was two months two with months snack wow. and, i mean not a snack no i did a couple no i've done yeah i think it's been all kind of two months ish i mean one like a month and a half maybe but yeah I'm with Merck and what about the furthest place well. though where'd you go like all the islands on the other side, kind of like Newfoundland oh, and, and all them, which is cool because like I've been everywhere in Canada for yeah, years, yeah. just from like going around as a kid and shit. Like you got to travel your own country first. Yeah, like now I can say I've been everywhere, like in Canada, like province-wise yeah. and everything. Go, go. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So with that being said, if your house was burning down, <laughs> that your family and your pets were out safe. Okay, I was, I was going to say already, my son. Yeah. I don't even know the question about my son. If there's one item you could go back inside for, what would it be? <laughs> Probably Windex. Ah! <laughs> to be honest, get I all grab his him gear. because like he's a he's a he's a big thing that I need right now. He's yeah, man. Still, he's still a part, big part of my life. Yeah. So I'd probably grab Windex. I talk we always talk about him in third person, like me and all my friends and shit. They're like, Yo, where's Windex? I'd be like, Oh shit, he's in the Jeep. Hold on. I gotta go grab his hair and shit. Actually, it's yeah. funny because we came with a band, uh, Smoking Ink. They're from Montreal. Mm -hmm. And awesome, uh, awesome Jesse dudes. Lang loves he's one half of smoking ink. He puts on this lifeguard. Um, yeah, it becomes Brad theater. the lifeguard. And right. puts Hilarious. On a, on a whistle and yeah. this whole t this whole tour, he's been going. You'll see it in the in the in the day today series. To like everybody, and it's hilarious. Blows his whistle. Stop running, please. That's great. I'm a lifeguard. Oh, yeah. I'm famous. I love doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, we've got a good reaction out here. Nobody's like called the cops on us for doing that kind of stuff. Uh, no, like, everybody's you know. nice out here. Yeah, they're cool out here, man. I yeah. love the people out here for sure. Um, yeah, man. So that's cool, man. You're doing a lot. Like you've done so much in the music industry. I'm glad you're actually taking a break, you know, because I'm mm -hmm. as a as a musician myself. I've been going hard for like six years now, and I've never stopped yet. And then yeah. this is kind of like my first break uh, since having a, a child, you know. So yeah, yeah. that's glad. I'm, I'm glad you're doing that for yourself. But uh, what can the uh, my fanatics, especially my viewers, especially and uh, your fans as well, expect from you in the next year? You can definitely expect a good amount, but I'm gonna kind of like. This one, I said this the other day to fucking side neck. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I wanna live more like a recluse. Like, I love the social media presence, but it also will get to me sometimes. You know, okay. like it, get, it can get in your head sometimes. And I'm the type of person that'll let it. So, like, I've been kind of just like reclusing. Like, I'm gonna take my time. I got lots of music I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna Dope. drop lots of videos. I'm gonna drop lots more things, but I'm just not gonna be as present. So, I'm gonna be like a recluse little spider. I'll come out and fucking. Give you, guys, give you guys a little something here and there and then there you, you know my true, the true people that fucking me will enjoy it of course that's all I need there you go so, bud and then also adds an opportunity for you because you're not going to drown out your sound or they're not yeah, going to get yeah. bored and you're going to keep it spicy you know that's what I'm going to do yep. yeah and all my shit's a lot different you won't even expect it out of me trust nice. me I got so many songs right now that like you I'm actually you very excited to hear I not expect mm -hmm. that Good man, good. I'll be on the lookout for that. Well, there you go, man. That's Let's Talk with Finns chilling here with DTG, <laughs> aka Lil Windex. You already know what it is, man. Aka Dylan, aka Dildo. Hey. Dilly, <laughs> dil, what'd you call me? Dilly Pickle. Dilly, dilly, dilly Pickles, pickle. man. Pickle. You already know. Dil, 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 yeah, dil. Dilly Pickle, man. You already know. Thank you for coming here oh, with yeah. us, man. Uh, it's been a blessing to get this, uh, just man, even just to Sit see where you're from and beautiful. For a second. You yeah. know, yeah, man, and uh, it means a lot to to spread some knowledge and and uh, give some advice to the kids as well. And fuck yeah, uh, yeah, man, you're you're a straight a straight up dude, man. I can't thank you I enough. Appreciate man. you guys are great. Yeah, <laughs> Fine You already know what it is, man. Much Smash love. the subscribe button. Smash Hit the it. little fucking Smash bell notification so you get all the live updates. Yep. Until later, man. Like, Peace. drop a comment. If it gets ten thousand likes, I'll.
I'll tattoo side next face on my butt. Damn! Oh, okay, maybe I'll do it if it gets 10,000. <laughs> 10,000 comments and this guy will tattoo side face on his butt. Side neck right on my ass. Just looking like this and in my butthole. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know if I can say that on the channel. We can. That's all right. We can blank it over. <laughs> Peace! Much love. Take your time.